annually, a plethora of species across the United Kingdom face declines at such a rate that if no further aid or protection is established, we may lose their presence entirely. Introduced species, persecution, polluted ecosystems, habitat loss through urban and agricultural expansion, all play as factors that are consequential to the loss of British biodiversity. Although there is an abundance of negative associations with our presence, British wildlife organisations and charities, their staff, volunteers, students, trustees and donators are instrumental in returning equilibrium to British ecosystems. This has been seen with Vincent Wildlife Trust's reintroduction of the European Pine Martin. Last week I visited Midwest Wales to find evidence of European Pine Martin thriving in their reclaimed territories. Thanks to Chris Jones' efforts in camera trapping, he noticed a female pine martin frequenting near his caravan site and has captured some incredible footage over the years. Chris and Les have been kind enough to allow me to visit, deploy camera traps, film in a hide and acquire this footage. Pine martins were once seen across the entirety of the United Kingdom. This is due to the vast amount of woodland cover present prior to its devastation in combination with the persecution from livestock and game predator controls. Pine martins are not present within England and Wales other than within a handful of populations. With woodland cover being regained across Britain, Vincent Wildlife Trust have been catalytic in reintroducing the pine martin. In 2014, Vincent Wildlife Trust released a feasibility report detailing extensive research in the potential that the pine martin could be re-established in previously occupied suitable habitat. The report tackled matters such as public opinion, the impact on other species, and the genetic viability of the population. Due to Jenny McPherson and her co-author's efforts, the feasibility report allowed Vincent Wildlife Trust to relocate 51 individual pine martens from the healthy populations in Scotland between 2015 to 2017. This has been monumental in enabling further relocation efforts to take place and orchestrating the potential for future reintroductions across Wales and England. As part of the mustelid family, Alongside badgers, weasels, stoats, polecats and otters, the pine martin, or martes martes, is easily distinguishable amongst others due to the flourishing cream to orange tinted fur protruding from the chest region of its coat. The pine martin is the only mustelid with semi-retractable claws and equipped with these, alongside a slender body and heavily adapted jaw, enables the species to be extremely successful in the arboreal niches they occupy. The benefits of pine martin presence across Britain include the influence within the food chain as a predatory animal. Their adaptations to hunting arboreal prey have provided evidence towards pine martin control on invasive grey squirrel populations, with this providing the potential for red squirrels to inhabit a larger area within the UK with less competitive pressure from the greys for resources. The potential for further reintroduction of pine martin across England and Wales in the future will be increased with further awareness of this species' presence within the UK. With this and other reintroduction methods such as captive breeding of pine martin, an incredibly difficult feat achieved by Wildwood Trust, pine martin may thrive across a much larger percentage of English and Welsh forests over the next few years.